Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if you're getting the Windows Update Error 0x8024A21E and how to fix it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart some services. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type services and select it as an application from the search result. Now in here, what you have to do is locate the background intelligent transfer service and simply double click on it to open up its properties window. Now in here, next to startup type, make sure that the drop down menu is selected as an option to automatic and then click on the start button if the service status is set to start. Now click on apply and ok to save the changes and what you have to do is head over to the next service and that's Windows Update. So scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service, double click on it to open up its properties window, once again click on automatic in the drop down menu on the startup type and then if the service is stopped click on the start button to start it. Now click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Afterwards, click on System on the left pane, and then on the right side, scroll way down until you find the Troubleshoot category and simply select. Now click on Other Troubleshooters, and lastly, click on the Run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to clear the software distribution folder. And now to do this, open up an instance of File Explorer, then head over to your default Windows drive, in our case it's the C drive, and then scroll way down until you find the Windows folder, double click on it, then scroll down until you find the software distribution folder. Now in here simply select everything that you have in this folder, then shift and delete it to delete it permanently. Afterwards, you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.